Hello everyone, so today we are doing a full face tutorial starting from scratch all the way up until we get to this point and we are going down memory lane with some brands. I did share these products very recently in a haul video because I haven't done a haul video in quite some time so I figured why not just show you everything in the video and then do a tutorial to go along with that because I won't be using every single thing that I purchased. I do have a couple more orders <laughs> coming in because I did. I have been placing some orders and some stuff, you know, I've been buying stuff. Like I have not forgotten about my online shopping skills, which I'm really good at. <laughs> and I've been buying things, ordering clothes and all kinds of stuff, makeups, all stuff. So we're going to get into it. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the things that I got. I'm going to show you what they look like and how they apply. We're just going to go down memory lane. So if you want to see how to do this look, then keep watching. So we're going to start with the complexion and I did order a new foundation and concealer but those are not here yet for this video so I'm going to use a foundation that I already have in my collection but I wanted to talk about the Stila One Step Correct Primer and I got this a few weeks back and I have been really enjoying it. It's a skin tone correcting and brightening primer. It has like swirls of a few different colors, lavender, peach, and um, green. So it helps with the redness, it helps with sallowness, it helps brighten dark circles, and you can use it on its own, which is how I've used it before. And then I'm going to use it today under my foundation. And it comes with your typical pump. And I think it's best to apply this with your fingers. And I add just a little bit, and I will do half of my face so you guys can see. It looks a little crazy, but because I do have sunburn, I can really see the difference that this does for me. Okay, so that is pretty much one pump. See the difference? This is the redness, and it just looks much more even on this side. And you can see how it kind of helped with any discoloration that I have. It's pretty dark up here where the sun has been hitting me the most. And it just kind of helped. And you can see there the difference. It's not a huge like, whoa, I don't need foundation kind of difference because I do have a lot of imperfections that foundation concealer is required to cover. But as far as like evening out the skin tone, I think it does a really good job. All right, so for foundation, I'm gonna use my Revlon uh, candid foundation because like I said the one that I ordered is not here yet so I just take approximately two pumps onto a makeup palette and I have a brand new beauty sponge that I have dampened and washed as well and I'm going to take a few little dots and I'm going to see if I can get by with pretty minimal because I don't really have I have like one breakout right there but for the most part I'm shocked that I don't have any more going on at the moment. It's too much. Too much. Now this foundation obviously doesn't match me because I've gotten quite a bit of color. I'm pretty dark on my arms and a little bit on my chest and I have gotten some color on my face. So I'm hoping that the foundation that I ordered and the color that I ordered is going to work a little bit better because this one is pretty light on me. For my under eyes I'm going to do a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury uh, brightener which I really like. It's a peach color. I have it in the shade Fair One. This stuff is amazing and I love it so I'm going to do this before I set my face and I've blended this product out with the brush but I am going to go in with my sponge here so I think I do want to do a little bit of brightening so I'm going to take my fair concealer from the Revlon Candid line that goes with the foundation. I'm going to do a tiny little bit of this, like two dots. 
and then a little bit on this outer part. That is it. Again, with the same point. All right, so I like to set my under eye with my loose powder. This is the one from the number seven. So I'm gonna do that before everything creases. So for brows, I'm gonna use something different. This is the Winky Lux Unibrow, Universal Brow Pencil that I got in my Fat Fit Fun box for um, the summer edition and it's gold and it has one end is a spoolie and the other end is a triangular um, pointed brow. And I definitely need to do my brows like big time. I have not plucked my brows in like three weeks so it's it's time for sure but I'm gonna just I'm gonna ignore that for this video. All right, so an hour later, <laughs> not really, but it feels like it when I'm doing my brows. They're just, they're not supposed to be twins, they're sisters, so it is what it is. But that pencil was pretty easy to use, and I can see myself using that again, so that was a good one. The next thing I want to do is bronzer because, like I said, my arms are really dark. It doesn't match my face. And so I have this eyeshadow palette, and it has a couple of face products in it as well from Laura Geller. It's the Montauk escape palette and I got this during the fat fit fun um, summer sale and that's where I get in trouble because you literally go on the site and if you're signed in all you do is put everything into your cart and they automatically will bill you on a certain day whatever's in your cart and that's it so I have put things in my cart and I've completely forgotten about it and then they charge me <laughs> so and it's okay because I this was one of the things so this was like I don't know, nine bucks or so. And then online, if I were to order the same thing, it was like, I don't know, 30 bucks. There we go. So you've got a, a bronzer, a blush, and four eyeshadows. So I'm going to use the bronzer because the bronzer is matte, thank goodness. And I like to use my e.l.f. complexion brush. This is like a $3 brush that is so great. And I'm going to go in with that color. And I'm going to do quite a bit so that I can get my face to kind of match up with the rest of my body. It is pigmented. It's nice. And the mirror actually came undone. Like, I need to re-glue it. But I guess I shouldn't complain for nine bucks, right? If I would have paid 30, I would have been like, what in the world? It's okay. It's actually a really nice shade, and it does look quite warm. I like to go over the nose as well. So there is a blush which is really pretty. I like that color. This is something I can use often. But I also ordered from Cas Co Cab Cosmetics, which if you're not familiar, this stands for Kim Ariana Brielle, um, Kim Zolciak. I watch her show, listen to her podcast. She was on the Housewives of Atlanta many, many years back and kind of branched out and did her own thing. So 319 is the shade I'm going to use. And if you've noticed that I am not talking as loud, my daughter is sleeping. So I'm trying to get through this as quick as I can because I want to enjoy my me time. This is my me time for the day, spending it with you guys and playing with makeup. And this is so fun. I haven't worn makeup in like three weeks. So this next thing I'm super excited about, it's the Stila Kitten Eyeshadow. So who's with me that Kitten was the eyeshadow, the go-to. When I discovered Stila 12 years ago, this was one of my favorites. And I remember having the Barbie collection. Did anybody get that Barbie collection? Because it had the eyeshadows and it just was everything. And this brings me back, this and something else I'm gonna show you. And I just, I live for this. And I'm gonna use this as my highlight because I don't think I used it as highlighter back then. I just used to swipe it 
bunch of it on my eyelids and then do like really thick eyeliner, thick eyeliner at the bottom. This is when I worked at Ulta and I was a store manager for Ulta 12 years ago and this was one of one of my go-tos, one of my jams. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that because this, if I remember correctly, this was, it's intense. Oh, oh but it's so pretty. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's been so long, old friend. <laughs> very, very quick. But it is just as good as I remember, and I feel like it just brought me back to 2008. Oh my god. This is exactly why I ordered these products. Or some of these products, I should say. So as I shared before um, in a previous video, the haul video, I got the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the original, which is completely different packaging than the way it used to be. And it comes with a doe foot, which is nice because before it was one of those kind of like weird plasticky kind of bottles and I used to cut mine. Again, who was with me? <laughs> and they have different colors and they also have an anti-aging version, but I didn't get that one. I just stuck with the OG Classic. I'm going to use my beauty sponge to blend that out. Okay, so another OG thing was the original Naked palette, and so we're going to use the Reloaded. I picked this up very recently. I like the packaging. It's kind of like padded in its fabric, and it's kind of gold and very cool. And it has a mirror, which it still has a little... And so it's got a really good size mirror. This one does not come with a double-ended pencil like the original Naked palette did. And I maybe they changed that to a brush like many, many years back, but that was like, that was my jam. So this is the color story on this one, which you've probably seen this already. But I am thrilled. Some of these colors give me those Naked original vibes, which is that very first shade. And another thing I noticed is that Bribe and Blur are larger pan sizes than everything else and I do like that. I think that that really is a good choice, a good move for designing the palette because those are colors that everybody's going to use the most because you can blend, you can set, you can um, diffuse some edges if you got too dark with some of the colors. You can use them just as on their own. And I'm going to go all over my lid. Oh, this brings me back. Oh man, you guys. I have not used Urban Decay eyeshadows in quite some time. I had the Moon Dust palette that I used when I lived in Tennessee to do like glittery looks, but I got rid of that because it was old and I also, I didn't use it and I don't wear glitter every single day. Now, I think it looks pretty, but it's just not my thing. So my camera cut off. Um, I took Bribe, which is the first color here, and I just went all over my lids. And I think when I noticed and my camera cut off what I was saying was that it has a subtle kind of sheen to the color but it's not shimmery and it's something that I can actually use on its own it's so pretty so for the crease I'm gonna go in with bucked which is the matte light tan and it's this one here and since the pans are kind of skinny you know something like large like this would be a little bit difficult and challenging to kind of fit in there, but um, if you have like smaller, more precise brushes, then you'll be fine. And to me, it's not that big of a deal. However, the color right next to it, distilled, is a little bit darker, so I have to be careful not to get my brush into that side. But these are blending out very well. And I'm not having any issues with it showing up. So I'm going to kind of layer this up until I get it to where I want it. I want this to be like soft and diffused to begin with. So I'll show you. Distilled is this shade here and it's kind of like a bronze brown. And the next is Dream Reaver which has a lot of like chunky glitter to it but I'm going to use this one here. Kind of, it looks kind of like a bronzy brown, but it has a bit of coolness to it, so it's really, really nice.
and I'm using my brush to dry, but you could dampen it with a little bit of water or spray it with some Fix Plus, a setting spray, anything you've got. And there isn't a whole ton of fallout either so far, which is also good. Then picking up the same crease brush that I use for Bucked, which is the color that's in my crease, with whatever's left on there from before, I'm going to go around the edges of that. So I'm going to add some more color to my crease. I feel like I need to put a little bit more on this eye, maybe, of the distilled. Gosh, that is pretty. I love that. So I'm going to go down to the lower lash line with a pencil brush. I'm going to take Bucked, which is that same tan shade that I used initially, and go thicker here and thinner as I go into the inner corner, and making sure that it connects out here. Same brush, I'm going to go in with Distilled, and I'm going to go right over that to add a little bit of that shimmer there. Wiping off my brush, I'm going to go in with Endgame, which is the darkest color in the palette, and it is also very matte, so it's like a chocolate brown. It's beautiful. Same pencil brush, keeping it easy, and I'm going to put this mostly on this outer part here. For my inner corner, I'm going to switch to a smaller brush, very detailed brush, and I'm going to go in with the shade called Blur, which is the other larger shade. It's lighter. It's kind of like a beige. It just helps make everything more open, especially when you're using dark eyeshadows. This is a good thing to do. Nostalgia purposes, let's go in with that Barely Baked and see how that looks. I remember the Half Baked was something that I didn't use that much. This is a lighter go, same brush. And I'm going to apply that to the inner corner as well. Oh, that's pretty. It's got that gold color, but it's also quite brightening in a way that I could use it in the inner corner and not feel like I put just like this bunch of gold. I feel kind of weird about it. Okay, so I want to add some more to the crease. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my same crease brush that I did before and I'm going to wipe it off and I'm going to go in with Retro because it is calling my name. Retro is that matte peach and I'm so glad it's matte and not shimmery. And I'm going to go right above that distilled shade just to do the tiniest bit. I don't know if you can see a difference between this eye and this eye. This has a little bit more of that just a soft touch of peach. So if you hear any noises in the background, that is my son. He's downstairs watching TV, laughing, playing with the dog. I got the 24 7 and 0. This was my color. And then I also have it in the shade Alkaline, which is more of like a reddish, brownish, berry wine kind of color. Very crazy description, but uh, I don't know if this is maybe the waterline for this one, but I think I'm going to do 0. So the tip broke as I was trying to take the cap off, so I'm going to have to lay it on its side and hope that it doesn't continue to break. Well, that sucks. And because of that, the line isn't quite as smooth. It's all right. It's all good. I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm going to work that. Well, almost poke myself in the eye. And I'm going to blend that. Oh, yeah. See, I remember these being creamy and blendable. So that really just completely looked smooth just by taking a brush. Wow. Well, been a while. I don't know why I stopped using these. And it did diffuse the tone a little bit, which isn't a bad thing. But um, I might go in with Endgame over the top. Why not? I'm going to wipe off that angled brush. And I'm going to go in with Endgame, which is that dark brown. And I'm going to go right over the edge of that as well to just add a little bit more darkness, but not a whole lot. Because that zero, even though I'm smudging it, it still looks quite dark. 
And they have the perversion one, which is even darker. I remember not really being too thrilled with that one. Um, I like the depth and the tone of how rich the black is, but I just felt like it kind of transferred too much on me. I don't know. I think it was the formula just seemed creamier, in my opinion. Let's try not to break the tip of this one. This one's the alkaline. Okay, so that is a lot more, as a difference, <laughs> much of a difference that I can tell, but it is definitely a lot more of your typical wine kind of purple shade. I thought it was going to be a little bit deeper, like more like, well, I guess it kind of does look like oh, what the outside is. All right, so mascara is done. I used this Mau Hai Club mascara, which is the only one that I have that is still safe to use around my eyes. I did a video on Wander Beauty um, a couple weeks ago. It's not my favorite, even though it says volume and length. I just feel like I get more from the Maybelline from the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So it's one that I wouldn't personally recommend. It's good for the lower lash line. And I feel like if I would have had the Maybelline or L'Oreal, it would have had much more impact with the eyes as far as the lashes are concerned. Um, I don't really like how it makes my upper lashes look, but I did do two coats of this because um, that's really the only one I've got. I recently picked up another lipstick from Cab Cosmetics in the shade called Sweetheart, and I thought it looked a little bit more pink um, online, but this is what it looks like. I mean, I guess it does look pink, but it's kind of like a nude pink. I don't know. But I do like her lipsticks. I have the Teddy shade, and then I have Kinky, and those are part of the nude, so the packaging is like a very light nude kind of blush beige color. Less pink in the tube than what it does when it goes on, but I'm going to have to make this a little bit more nude because I feel like that's a little too pink. So I'm going to go on with the Crab Cosmetics in Teddy, which is one of my favorites. Okay, so I feel like that upgrade really kind of grounded that lip color a little bit, and it's not so bad, even though I layered like three different things. Um, but I feel like it's fine. Kind of has a little subtle kind of peach-ish. I don't know. Maybe that's what it's looking like on camera. And I feel like it's pulling those peach vibes from my eyeshadow. So that is it. We are finally complete with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, going down memory lane with some of these brands and just spending some time with me today. I feel just really happy and I missed doing videos and I'm so glad that I am here. I'm back to filming and playing with makeup because this was just really, really fun. I know the video was quite long, but um, what are you going to do, you know? What are you going to do? So anyways, everything will be listed down below in the description box. Everything that I use in case you're interested in purchasing any of the products for yourself. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here and for taking the time to watch. I hope that you will tune into my next video um, coming up soon. Take care, you guys, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.